Hi, teacher. Hello. How, How was are you? Day? Fine. Fine. My day was very stressful. Oh, what happened? <laughs> uh, because I have a lot of job. <laughs> uh, um, well, a recommendation. Don't let your job make you stress. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Remember I enjoy it, but remember that there are a lot of us that need a job. <laughs> and yes. you have a job. And that that's you know, okay. So you you have no idea how horrible it is to be without a job. When you are yes. in used to be working. Imagine that now I am a gardener and a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> In order to fill the time. Okay. So yes, it uh, it's, it's always a blessing to have a job. And In this day, it, it's a it, blessing. It is, it is more stressful to be without job. <laughs> I know. That's why I always look for something to fill in. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I love to teach. Thank you, teacher. I love to teach. Teacher, uh, can, can, can vi unos mensajitos que falleció alguien, algún familiar de, de algún compañero. Sí, ayer lo dije. Es que ¿Sale? ayer no tuve conexión de internet, por eso le, le escribí en el grupo. Ah, ok. Eh, Sí, eh, eh, es una de las compañeras de las que no, no vinieron ni ayer ni van a venir hoy, porque este, una, una tía, una tía se murió, pero una tía que es como que fuera su mamá. La mamá. Ajá. Entonces, yo la entiendo porque yo tengo una tía, sí. Entonces, sí, pobrecita. Este, eh, gracias a Dios no fue de COVID. ¿Verdad? Sí, porque, porque ahora... la pudieron la pudieron velar y, y gracias a Dios porque eso es triste. Ay, sí. Cuando se murió mi hermano a principios de año, ah, eso fue tremendo. Sí. Porque él, él era un hombre tan querido por medio mundo y nadie pudo ir a velar. Uh -huh. Ay, sí, eso es triste. Eso es bien triste. Sí. A nosotros así nos pasó con mi primo hace poco. Bueno, es más, y... este, la última vez que hubo contacto con él fue cuando se fue a dejar al hospital. Ay, no, qué terrible. Y ya no más. Uh -huh. Se lo llevó rapidito. Gracias a Dios porque no sufrió. Uh -huh. Porque, digamos, le, se lo detectaron un ocho. Y, y ya para el... Para el 13 ya estaba muerto. Rapidito. Uh -huh. Pero yo se lo puse en las manos de Dios. O sea, yo dije, yo lo que no quería era justo que sufriera, porque si hay algo espantoso es estar queriendo respirar y no puede. Y uno como familiar que no puede, o sea, saber a diario de ellos, pues. Sí, sí, porque como no le dejaron teléfono. Porque uh -huh. si le hubieran dejado no teléfono, lo hubieran dejado, ¿cómo no? Si hay gente que se queda con su teléfono. Fíjese que mi tía cuando estuvo ingresada lo tuvo que meter a escondida. Yo creo que depende del área donde de repente la ingresen. Porque a mi tía no le permitieron teléfono, no que escondida lo metió. Uh -huh. Sí, porque eh, por lo menos así uno tiene, aunque sea un contacto. Por... Un contacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero... Bueno, son las cosas que pasan. Cuando él murió pues, todavía no estaban vacunando. Lastimosamente. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Justo unos sillitas después empezaron a vacunar. Y dije yo, lástima que no. Sí. 
que no fue antes, ¿verdad? Porque hubiera sí, tenido... Pues, bueno, pero hay gente que aún vacunada se ha muerto. Sí, sí. Ya cuando ya le toca, ya le toca. Así es, eso es bien cierto. Uh -huh. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. No, well, now we will have a nice class because we will have another tent. We will, we will have uh, the present continuous tent. In the case of the present continuous tense, we have to keep in mind the use of verb to be as well, because the verb to be is the auxiliary for present continuous, okay? And is, as is, it is present, we have to use a verb to be in present tense. But first, education is not feeling a pale, but the lighting of a fire. Okay. The well, lighting I mean, of a fire. I don't know what it mean, paid. Okay, let's see. Remember, I told you to use this. Can you see? Wait. Uh, can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Do you understand? Pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go, go now. It's yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Now, it, it, the, um, the thing is that. Uh, Sí. In, in other in other time education was uh, was thought as that that um, we were we were teaching to uh, a deposit okay they, they think that uh, all the students were at deposit and we had to fill it with the knowledge, okay? And that you are empty. That, that was the thought originally uh, from previous times. But now he is saying that uh, the person is not a pale, Okay, but the lighting of a fire. Okay, that means that uh, if you notice a fire, uh, when, when you make a, a fire with, with different um, pieces of wood or with a uh, charcoal, you need to have it all together in order to make it 
uh, bigger, okay? So that's why it is important to be with other people in order to learn more. And the way you learn better is when you teach, okay? Because you learn something and then you explain it to someone else, then you learn more because uh, you are making it yours in order to explain it. You cannot explain something that you don't understand. Okay, so if you really want to learn something, try to teach somebody else. That means that what you learn, it pass it to someone else in order to learn it better. Okay. Well, uh, remember that we were accepting an invitation. Okay. This is the structure for accepting an invitation. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. Uh, this is from the first uh, dialogue that we made, remember? When yes. you were accepting an invitation. And yes. this is refusing an invitation. I love to go to her new house, but I can't. And you may say why. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't because whatever you want to say, okay? Yes. Now, um, we are nine people almost done with the people that we were to, uh, together yesterday. Uh, do you want to volunteer? Alguien que quiera comenzar, que esté completo con su equipo? Carlos Membreño, who was with you? Floridalia. Okay. Then. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Hi Carlos. Hi, Flor. Uh, Carlos, would you like to go study history? I like to, but I have a headache. Really? Take a pill, Carlos. Well, I don't have pills. You don't have a pills. Go to the drugstore and buy the pills. I, I feel sick. Um, I'm better going to take a nap. I understand. Okay. Take care, Carlos. Bye. Bye. Okay. He just does, don't want to study. <laughs> and worse that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, um, who else is complete? Alguien más que quiera hacer su diálogo? Refusing an invitation? No. No están las parejas. Lu y yo mismo. Ok. No, por mí no, mis. Ok. Go ahead. Ok. Would you like, would you like to, to go eat something tonight? I love it, but I can't because I were late. Why not on Sunday? It's okay. Where will we go? Will we go to Pollo Campero? Mm, 
it like to, but I don't like pollo campero. Would you like to go maybe for taquitos? It's a good idea. I love taquitos al pastor. <laughs> well, what time do we meet? What do you think if we meet at 7.30 p.m.? Okay, I will go for you at 7.30 p.m. It's okay, see you. Good. Great invitation because he will pick you also, nice. And tacos are good, better than pollo campero. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And healthier. Now, someone else? Había uno que eran tres, no han venido todavía. Okay. Someone else ready? Janet is there, but uh, Melissa is not here. Ah, oh, Melissa is missing. Okay. Then we will continue with the class, and when the others uh, came, uh, let me know when you are ready, okay? Okay, Miss. Okay, teacher. Now, let's go on because now we have plenty of material. Not from, not from the platform, but from my searching. Well, in these lessons, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Today is the first uh, class from the last section. 5.0, uh, okay? So uh, we are almost done with the platform. Now, asking about families. This is from the platform. And we will see here uh, the pattern. Um, if you see, this is present continuous. She's working on a very secret project right now. She is working on a very secret project right now. Okay. That is, that is a present continuous. In the present continuous, we use uh, the subject, verb to be that correspond to that subject, and the verb, the principal verb is in ing form. We also know this as a gerum and as a present participle. Okay. Those are the ways that we know uh, ing form. ing form is gerum, a present participle and also ing form okay but is 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 the verb with the ing and later i will give you the rules because there are some rules to form the gerund of the verb now if i follow the reading Asking about families. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Now, listen and repeat. 
Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, well, my sister, sister works for the government. And what does she do? Oh, and what does she do? she do? She do. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not I'm sure. I'm not sure. She's, She's working, working on, on a very secret project right now. now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. Oh, oh no. no. My sister's away. away. She's not working in the United States this month. She's, She's not, not working, working in the United States, 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 States this month. And your brother? And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, He's traveling, traveling in the Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Now. Uh, volunteers. Okay, Jancy and Carla. Jancy, you go first. Okay. I don't hear you. No se le oyó bien. Um, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet, it? I meet them? Mm, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you very much. Just one thing, when you say, uh, my sister's away, that's where to be. My sister is away, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, this dialogue is mixing a simple present and present continuous, okay? Simple present, remember that is for routines, uh, daily habits, uh, things that are always true. And in the case of a present continuous, it's something uh, that is happening right now. Okay, so the, both are a kind of um, present, but one is something that maybe is not a habit, but it's a, something that is happening right now. Okay, when it is a habit, you use present, simple, but when it's something that is uh, in uh, that is happening right now, you use present continuous with verb to be plus the verb in the ing form. Okay, now other two volunteers. Uh, Veronica Godoy, M. Who else? Lisette, do you want to go with Veronica? Okay, go ahead. Veronica, you first. 
Tell me about your brother and sister too. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? <laughs> He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet it? Oh, no. My sister, oh, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. <laughs> okay, thank you. <coughs> Drink some water. Drink some water. The one with a cup. Drink some water because you you are coughing because you, you are irritated. So you need water, okay? We said, drink water. <laughs> okay, <Keisha. laughs> Okay. Uh, other two volunteers? Uh, Josue Gonzalez with? Okay, then I will volunteer somebody. Lourdes, could you go with him? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Tell me about your brother and sister. Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on every secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Um, almost all of you are having problems with my sister's away. So change my sister's away for my sister is away. Okay. In order to pronounce it. Because it's, it's important. Because uh, you are missing the verb here which is where to be, okay? Creo que se lo voy a escribir. No me lo están pronunciando. Okay. Now better. Thank you. Now, uh, Janet del Rosario. Uh, Daniel, could you go with uh, Janet? Yes. Tell me yeah. about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, well, and what about your brother? He is a wildlife. He is a wildlife photographer. What an in interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, uh, no. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States his mom, this month. And your brother? He's, he is traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And Angelica Sanz, could you go with uh, who is missing? Quien no ha pasado? Uh, 
¿Qué no ha pasado? Me. Ok, Floridalia, go ahead. Ok. Eh, tell me, eh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Eh, Where my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a good life photographer. What a what a interesting family. Can I meet I meet I meet them? No, my sister is away. She's not working in the United States no. This month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we had to work in the knowledge check. Okay. Look at Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Write the answers on the spaces. Provided you just need to type the name, not a sentence. Do not include the period. Okay. So let's see. Grandfather and Grandmother. Grandmother. Uh, this is father and, father and mother. Aunt and uncle. Uncle. Son, Jumiko, and Jim. Son, wife. husband, and his wife. Wife. Jim, brother and sister-in-law. 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 Okay. And aunt and uncle, then Teresa is? It's me. No, no, no. Cosi. Mm -hmm. Teresa is Cosi. Cosi. And Kelly and I can um, niece. Yes. Jimmy. Kelly and Jimmy. They are uh, niece and nephew. Nephew. Niece and nephew. Now, here we have the, the, the words that I'm missing. Grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife, and they miss father also. Ah, oh, no, it is father and cousin. Okay, father and cousin. Okay, now Andy is Sam's grandfather, and Marta is his grandmother. Grandmother. Okay, Chris is Sam's father. father. Manuel is Sam's uncle. 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 Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his wife. wife. Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa, Lisa is Sam's sister-in-law. With the uh, la rayita. You need to put the Sorry? la rayitas, la rayitas, las separaciones entre. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. How do you say rayitas? <laughs> eh... 
I don't know. Guion, guion. I, I, I will look for it. I, I don't remember. Teresa is the daughter and Manuel of Manuel. She's son. Okay. Jim and Liza have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is sons. No. Nice. 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 If you notice, we only have here a, a lesson objective and then uh, the video. But I I also um, investigate more, so we have more information. Maybe we won't finish today, but it, it doesn't matter because we have Monday to continue. Okay, now the lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. Remember that each tense, we can have the different forms for each tense. The, the forms are affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The interrogative is what we also call yes, no question. And the yes, no questions, we can transform them to WH questions by adding the questions, uh, the WH words, okay? Now, in the present continuous, uh, we have, the present progressive tense. And we use a verb to be in the present for each of the uh, persons, grammatical persons. And uh, for I is am, for he, she, and it is is, and for the rest is are. That means you, we, you, and they are, okay? And then we use the verb in present participle, which is known also as ing form or as gerund, okay? The present participle is uh, like we see here, moving, okay? Move plus ing. Okay, or write writing. Okay, now, uh, when do we use the present uh, continuous or the present progressive? When we have the present in an ongoing activity right now, okay? An ongoing activity. Or we also use a present a continuous or present progressive for a future planet activity. Something that we already have planned, we use it in the present continuous. Uh, for example, an ongoing activity, Tony is writing a book. He is writing it right now, okay. He might have started it uh, uh, in the past, but he is continuing writing it. So he is writing a book, okay? And we are moving to Iceland uh, next year. You have this plan, uh, but uh, you are not uh, actually there yet but you are going to go, okay? 
Then we are moving to Ireland next year. Okay. Now, the present continues. Are you living at home now? Repeat. Are you living at home now? Are you living at home now? Are you living at home, home? Are you living at home now? It, this is uh, uh, in present continuous. Okay. And the answer, the short answers for this yes, no question is yes, I am or no, I'm not. Okay. Are you living at home now? Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm Is not. your sister working for the government? Is your sister, yes, sister working for, for the government? For the government. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. No, she no, isn't. She is. No, she's not. No, she's not. No. Okay. No. Remember that I told you that in the verb to be, uh, for the short form, uh, when we are using no or the negative, in, for the I am, we only have one form to make it uh, short, okay? And it's no, I'm not, okay? The subject plus the verb. But in the case of the others, we have two forms. No, Hay alguien que tiene un gran ruido ahí, podría ponerse en mute. Gracias. Entonces, este, eh, is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. And in the case of the negative, we have two forms to tell it. Uh, one is no, she isn't, and the other no, she's not. When in the first one, we combine the, the verb to be plus not, and in the second one, we combine uh, the verb to be with the subject, okay? She's that, okay? Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Repeat, are Ed and Jill going to college this year? This year. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they, no, aren't. they aren't. No, they're not. No, no they're, they're not. not. No, they're not. Where are you working now? Where are you working? Where are you working now? I'm not working. I'm not working. I need a job. I need a job. And what is your brother doing these days? What is your brother doing? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, He's traveling, traveling in, in, the in the Amazon. Amazon. Traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? Who are your parents, are your parents visiting, visiting this week? This week? They are visiting my grandmother. They are visiting they my visiting grandmother. grandmother. Okay, if you notice in this case, uh, we have just no questions. And Excuse here... me, sister. Pardon? Excuse me, uh, may I do a, a question? Yes. Uh, when I use, I use um, uh, war uh, between uh, me, what is the different the difference entre, uh, between war and job and when use uh, uh, war or or job 
Okay. Uh, word may be used as a noun and also as a verb. Okay. Uh, but in the case of job, it's only used as a noun. Okay, that's the main difference. And it refers to uh, having a job or, or, or something that you do for a living, okay? That, that is job. But in the case of work, it's also, we, we call uh, a work, uh, which is a job, but we also can say, I am working on this and this, or my uh, I work as whatever, okay? So you use it as a verb, and you you may use it it as a noun, okay? That's the difference. But uh, it depends on what you want to say, okay? If you want to use a verb, you use work. But if you want to use a, a noun, you may use work or job. Me di entender. It's most formal work. It's more formal work. Uh, no. It's more formal job. Okay, and job is only, but job is only a noun. O sea, el, es solo un nombre. En cambio, work puede ser un verbo o, o un nombre. Pero si usted se quiere referir a algo solo como el nombre, ocupa solo job. Pero eh, si lo quiere ocupar este, como, como verbo también, entonces ocupa work. O sea, work lo puede ocupar para referirse a que I have, I, I have a work or I have a job. Ok. But I work as an accountant. Trabajo como contador. I work as a teacher, trabajo como profesor. Entonces, yo no puedo decir I job as, porque no puede ser usado como verbo. Job is only a noun. ¿Hoy sí? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Now, here we have a verb uh, to be in verb uh, in present uh, present participle or gerund, and these are just no question, okay? But these ones are wh question, and as you notice here, you may answer yes or no in in a short form, okay? But here you cannot answer just by yes or no. You have to give information when you are answering. Now, a simple present versus present continuous. In affirmative, she works. Subject plus verb, she works. This is simple present. And now present continuous. She is working. Subject plus B plus verb in ING. Okay. Estas son las estructuras. Uh, yes, no question. B plus subject plus verb in ING plus complement plus question mark. Are you working as a scientist? Is he studying at university? Are we living in El Salvador? Okay. Remember that this is a present continuous 
yes, no question. Examples. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Are we staying at home? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Okay. These are uh, short answers, yes, no question. The structure for WH question is WH plus B plus subject plus verb in ing plus the complement and the question mark. Where are you working as a scientist? What is he studying at university? How are we living in El Salvador? Okay, if you notice, uh, they are the same, uh, just no questions, but in this case, you cannot answer just yes or no. If they ask you, where are you working as a scientist? You have to say, where is your uh, job? Or yeah. yes, the place. And then what is he studying at university? Then you have to give them uh, the, 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 the career. Okay, the what the is he studying at university? And how are we living in El Salvador? You have to say uh, how we are living. For example, if we are having a better life or if we are uh, living the same way, okay? Uh, WH questions, okay? With verb to be. And gerund. This is present continuous or present progressive. You can know it as uh, both things, present continuous or present progressive is the same. Okay. Okay, what is she eating? She is eating pizza. Why are we staying at home? Because of the pandemic situation. <laughs> Really? Okay. Now, spelling rules. This is important. Uh, this is for the gerund, for the ing form of the verb, or for the present participle. Okay. Most verbs add ing. O sea, la mayoría de los verbos solo agregan ing. Yes. Example: work, working, buy, buying. Okay. Verbs ending in E, remove the E and add ING. For example, take, taking, write, writing. Verbs ending in one vowel followed by one consonant, double the consonant and add ING. For example, get, getting, run, running. But this is an exception to the rule. Open, opening. Okay. Note. This is another exception. Uh, we here we have die and lie. If we uh, wanted to use the second rule, we only had to uh, take away the e. In ing, but since they have an I here, then they change the I for Y and add ing. Okay, die, dying, lie, lying. Okay, o sea, como para que no quedara el, la, la, la I dos veces, verdad. Entonces, cambiaron la I latina por Y y le agregaron ING. ¿Ok? Now, present continuous, the use. We use the present continuous to talk about things happening now. 
or to describe an action in progress. Okay, things happening now to describe an action in progress. Where is John in his room? He is doing his homework. Okay, where is John in his room? He is doing his homework. Okay, you're speaking too fast for me. You're speaking too fast for me. Estás hablando demasiado rápido para mí. Okay. The, these things are happening right now. You are listening to your teacher. Okay. Están escuchando a su profesor. Now, repeat after me. We use the present continuous to talk about. We use the present continuous to talk about. Things happening now. Things happening now. Happening now. Or to describe an action in progress. Or to describe an action in progress. Esto significa lo mismo. A propósito, en la plataforma este, les han puesto mal el continuous en algunas veces. Si ustedes se fijan, continuous se escribe así. Yes. Eh, U, O, U, S. U -O. Okay? Y en aquel creo que solo pusieron continuous. O sea, no. le quitaron la primera U. Pero, sí. pero no, eh, se escribe así como está aquí. Continuous. Okay. Por eso es que muchos prefieren poner present progressive, porque ya solo lo tienen que poner doble S. Present progressive. Yes. Okay. Which is the same. O sea, es lo mismo. Now, uh, repeat after me. Temporary activities. Temporary activities. To describe a short term or temporary situation. Aquí me equivoqué. To describe. I can see. Permítanme. Sí. Es que eh, me salí. Uh -huh. Y me salí porque quiero arreglar esto. A temporary situation. Dice situation ahí. Uh -huh. Bien. Temporary situation. Ok. Now. Lourdes se me está durmiendo. Tome café. <risa> Es que ya es cansadito, ¿verdad? A esta hora después de haber trabajado todo el día. Pero hay otro horario, de 9 a 10. Ah, sí, ese es más rico todavía. No. Y, y para mí que tengo una hora adelantada, imagínense. Es adelantada. Sí. O sea, yo voy una hora delante de ustedes. Ya son las 9. Exacto, ya van ya a ser las 10. Diez. Ya van a ser las 10. Y entonces, cuando me daban el otro grupo, terminaba, sí terminaba. terminaba a las 11. Ajá. Pero la ventaja de que, como yo no trabajo, entonces, este. ¿En energía? Estamos, vaya, por ejemplo, my, my daily routine. I, I wake up very early in the morning and go to water my plants before uh, the sun starts to, to shine. Uh, about five, five something. I water all the plants. And then I drive my son to his school and I left him there. If I don't have any class to give because I, I also give uh, private lessons, uh, I come to work in the garden. But if I have a, a class, I work a bit in the garden and then I come to give the class and then I return to the garden. Okay. All is he is. Pardon? How old is he? Your... My son. Your son, yes. He is 18. No, uh, uh, sorry. He will be 17. Oh, 17. 
We are learning about. Okay. He will be 17 this uh, November 30th. Almost. Yes. Uh, we we had a, a a case this this year because uh -huh. uh, we need to renovate the the, the passport and at uh, uh, the the documents I had for migration. They don't want to let me use it uh, in the in the uh, uh, Salvadorian embassy mm. to let me to let me uh, get his passport. They mm. want his father to be here or to send a a, a, a document that says that. Uh, I can get his passport because uh, the document I had it doesn't say that I can make him the passport. Only say that I can uh, I can represent him uh, for migration things. And I say, but for migration things, I need the passport. <laughs> but they say no. It has to say it for the passport. Okay. <laughs> they are something thank god they want to help us to do the things in another country okay well present continuous use temporary activities okay uh, repeat temporary activities Temporary activities. To describe a short term or temporary situation. To describe a short term or temporary situation. Okay, we are learning about trees this week. We are learning about trees this week. We are learning about trees this week. My brother is staying with friends in London. My brother is my friend in London. Uh, until he finds somewhere to live. Until he finds somewhere to live. Okay. Situation of change. Situation of change. The hole in the ozone layer is getting bigger. The whole world is getting bigger. The number of pupils in the school is falling. The number of pupils in the school is falling. Future arrangements. Future arrangements. We are flying to Spain on a school trip next month. We're flying. I'm seeing the head teacher after class. I'm seeing the head teacher after class. Now, present continuous or present simple? My, este. There, there are situations that we don't know which one to use, okay? Or simple present or present continuous. So uh, here we have some examples. It rains a lot in Scotland. This is habitual, okay? So you use present simple. But uh, put on an anor anorak, it's raining now, okay? Put on an anorak. Do you know what is an anorak? No, no, no. An anorak is a jacket, but uh, impermeable. 
Something rain. that you, you, you use for the rain. Anorak. Ok. O sea, es, 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 un, es una chaqueta sí. impermeable. Sí, okay. Anorak. Anorak. Put on an anorak. It's raining. Ok. Entonces, este es el presente continuo. Yes. Es algo que está sucediendo ahorita. Okay. Scientists do experiments to test the theories. This is always true. Then we use a simple present. Y, y aquí me equivoqué. Aquí es to test. test. O sea, para... para para examinar sus teorías. Están haciendo experimentos para probar sus teorías. Ok. This is always true. Scientists are doing experiments to see if there is life on Mars. This is currently. O sea, algo que está sucediendo ahorita se ocupa con present continuous. Scientists are doing experiments to see if there is life on Mars. ¿Verdad? Entonces, scientists do experiments to test their theories. Esto es siempre cierto. Los, los científicos siempre están haciendo experimentos para ver si sus teorías son ciertas. Pero ahorita están haciendo experimentos para ver si hay vida en Marte. Eso es algo que están haciendo ahorita. Now, he speaks French and German. No, eh, aquí es que, aquí es he. Estaba aquí es he. Sí, no, estoy inventándome. Aquí. Y aquí, si aquí dice he, he aquí tiene que ser he. Y si no, aquí tendría que ser she. ¿Ok? Eh, can speak these languages. O sea, puede hablar estos idiomas. Se ocupa en presente, en presente simple. But. Wait a minute, she's speaking to someone in her mobile. Eso está sucediendo ahorita. Ella está hablando con alguien en su teléfono. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, it, it rains habitual. It's raining right now. Do experiments always true. Are doing experiments in the moment. She speaks uh, French. Eh, 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 it's something that she, she, he or she knows. Eh, eh, she's speaking is something that is happening right now. Ok. Bueno, y nos quedamos eh, pendientes para terminar tomorrow, eh, perdón, on Monday. Ok, we will finish this on Monday. Así que no, no le voy a mandar todavía la... la, la la, la presentación, presentación, o al menos que se la, se la voy a partir. Le voy a mandar hasta aquí para que quede pendiente lo otro para, para el lunes. Ok. Ok. See you, see you Monday. See you Monday. Ok. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Have a nice weekend.